Hello, my name is Gina and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. And today we are off to Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, so that might be a little bit of a lie. I have been to Cleveland. Me and my husband, Alex, went to Cleveland, Ohio for our combined birthday trip. So my birthday is March 17th, his birthday is April 1st. The Saturday, which there's a weekend right in between. So we dropped our kiddos off at my parents' house and we headed out to Cleveland. Um, we live in Northern Indiana, so it's really close. That's this is the reason we decided to go. One of the biggest thing reasons we decided to go was to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So we're super, we were super excited about it. Got up Friday, Alex took the day off. We spent the morning with the kiddos and then chaos ensued as we got the uh, kids to my parents. We had planned, we had a lot of plans for this weekend. Half of them didn't happen. So we had planned to go to the Daiquiri Factory, which was just a random restaurant that I found. I love slushies and they had like different like alcoholic slushies, which I was super excited to go to um, when we got there on Friday night. That did not happen. We were exhausted. So instead of what we did is packed up, left, drove the three and a half hours, and ended up in <laughs> the hotel room, ordered five guys, hung out, knocked out, and slept really well because it's our first trip without the itty bitty, AKA Magdalena, who is only three months old. So that was really nice. It was a good Friday night. Now we will roll to Saturday morning. Good morning. So we are in our hotel room. Alex, say hi. Hi. Uh, it is Saturday morning and we are getting ready to go and head down to breakfast to get to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, we have a plan for today. So we're gonna rock and roll Hall of Fame and then we're going to a place called the Daiquiri Factory for lunch, which I'm super excited about. This is our first trip sans both babies. So it's gonna be interesting, but yeah. Um, and then after that, we are probably gonna go book shopping, comic book shopping, but I'll bring you along for that. And I'm super excited for our weekend. This is also my outfit of the day. Very mom, but also felt very Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the le the sleeves and the uh, stars on my pants. <laughs> so, I feel cutie.
finished looking at all the inductees for the thing. And here, come over here. We did a contest to see how many we recognized. And mine was 126. And Alex's yours is 131. 131. So Alex knows more, but I knew more of the early rock for some reason. Whereas Alex knew more of like the middle, like I would say like 70s and 80s bands. I band. think I hit, yeah, the 70s, 80s, but a lot of them were added in the late 2000s. Yeah, but like 70s, 80s bands yeah. knew a lot more about than I did. And I knew a lot more of like the mamas and the papas and stuff like that. Like those are ones that I know more. All right, so we've finished the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What did you think? Probably good. <laughs> yeah? It was awesome. We are out eating Burger King in the Burger King parking lot. And then we are headed to two comic book shops and a bookstore, a used bookstore that I found. At least two. At least two. Um, and then we're gonna go to a place called the Daiquiri Factory tonight, which is very exciting. We're gonna do it for lunch, turns out it opens at four, so. But, yeah, we'll see you then. I completely forgot to tell you, we also went to a place called Sweeties, which is the biggest candy store, I think, in Ohio. Um, it's absolutely huge. It's a massive warehouse, and it was so much fun to like see all of the new different kinds of candies, and they had a whole Easter section because we're close to Easter. It was amazing. We absolutely loved it. If you want to know how windy it is in Cleveland today, our traffic lights are so wingy. Okay, heading into one of the largest candy shops in the world. There's, there's a soda shop over there. But, oh my god, you can get a cart. ended up going finally going to the daiquiri factory um it was really good we got like fried pickles and stuff it was so good um there's something about it uh but we really enjoyed it had a great time i ended up having two alex had one he had a sex on the beach i had a dui and the fresh melon both all three were amazing they were so good um and they were playing some movies so we watched some movies while we were just sitting there hanging out headed back to the hotel crash Now moving on to Sunday morning. So Sunday morning, we had made the decision to go to the Westside Market. Westside Market opened at 10 a.m. We were up before then, we got up around 8.30 and started to get ready, head out, packed up, we're ready to go by nine, um, grab some breakfast at the hotel, 
and then actually ended up going to a bookstore right next to it so I thought it was called horizontal books because I had found it there but turns out it's called index index book and coffee super sweet woman that was working there loved it it was so much fun it, they were like new books that then um you got to like 50 percent off and if you bought two you got 60 percent off and if you bought three or more you got 70 percent off all of them so that was super fun and we went ahead and did that and then headed to the west side market fully overwhelming but amazing there's like a bunch of vendors and you can get like fresh meat you can get a bunch of desserts you can get fresh fruit um so it was like an indoor farmer's market obviously it's ohio so it had to be indoors but um it's also a very old building it was so cool we loved it um we got some good stuff so i ended up getting a couple macarons uh lemon and a mint chocolate and they were so good we got an oreo cheesecake that was amazing Got some stuff for my parents because they were watching our kids, so we wanted to say thank you. haul for you guys now my husband got some stuff he got like a couple spider-man pop funkos and we got some D, &D die because we, a dice because we play D, D together but i thought i'd show you the books so obviously it's a book right now. so the first when we stopped at the bookshop in lakewood i got this jonathan strange and strange and mr noel norrell for two dollars i thought that was a pretty good deal um, I wasn't really feeling that shop. They had a kitty though, which I loved. His name was Hobbs. He was super cute. Index Books is where I did the most damage. So I got The Christie Affair by Nita de Gourmont. Um, this is on my list. It's about, um, Agatha Christie's disappearance and her husband's affair and stuff like that super excited to read that next i got the forgotten kingdom this is the second in a series to the lost queen by sigmy pike uh i hope that i'm saying that right um and i have the lost queen so i'm super excited to read it and since it was a hardback and i got it for like six dollars i think um i couldn't pass it up because it matches my lost queen copy then i got Hungry Hearts. This is something that I've actually read. So this is a series of short stories um, all kind of revolving around this one neighborhood and it's super cute and I really loved it. It's one of the very few anthologies that I've read that I really loved. So I figured I'd get a copy and that's not adding to my TBR but I still got a book. But And it's also just so pretty. My husband got a couple guitar playing book girlfriend my husband got a couple guitar playing books because he wants to try and learn that and then the very last book i got was this copy of black beauty because i thought it was super cute um and i really want to try reading some more classics so this is one that i was thinking of hush And that is all from me. I hope you had a, a relaxing time just hanging out with us. Uh, I can't wait to go on more adventures and show you guys where we go. Um, would highly recommend the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Cleveland was okay, but the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was definitely great. Uh, we ended up spending like three and a half hours there. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.